<laughs> I was reading about the joke, man. Some article, Jackie. Jackie always gets interviewed by these wacky newspapers. What's he been interviewed by now? This is called the Island Voice. Something I never. I mean, I live on Long Island a long time. I've never heard of the Island Voice. I hadn't either. You hadn't either, right? But he'd, he'll, he'll interview do the interview it. anyway. It's new. And he evidently brought the reporter to his house. It's oh. new. Did you read this, Jackie? No. I'm Jackie the Joke Man Martling sits at a round wooden kitchen table. I've sat at that table. No, you haven't. <laughs> oh, you have Oh, yes, I have. No, you oh, this is a different house? All right, right. Oh, one of the other mansions. Yeah, but wait, you got to hear this guy. You got to hear this guy writing about Jackie. You would think Jackie was like Donald Trump. Oh, let me hear. Jackie the Joke Man Martling sits at a round wooden kitchen table in a small house that's used exclusively as an office. Power table, Power table right. <laughs> he looks at me across the table. His blonde hair, though beginning to thin ever so slightly, oh, is... <laughs> slightly. I don't think I see three hairs on the top of that head. Kojak Martling. <laughs> his hair is tucked in a ponytail that bobs as he tells me the story of his compound. Is this guy in love? <laughs> an eclectic group of buildings on one piece of land. Next door, a second house owned by the Martlings awaits their occupancy. Eventually, the Martlings plan to occupy the waterfront home, convert an old garage that sits between the larger houses into a recording studio, and finish Whoa. remodeling a smaller office. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. What a complex. Yeah. What a compound. <laughs> Joke compound. It sounds like the Kennedys. Does it? Joke it? No, pound. no, we're doing what? Joke pound. <laughs> but you know what? And when you when you when you see it though, <laughs> just it, a bunch of ready the, the, the lapidated buildings. I mean, it's you know, it sounds like Jackie really has something going on. Yeah, I'm getting a picture of Palm Springs. Yeah, right. Don't get jealous. Believe me. Uh, Martling Largo, affectionately known as the compound, these buildings will house the many projects Jackie and his wife Nancy are always involved in. Yes. They're busy with nonsense. All yeah. their little projects. Yeah, all their projects. Yeah. All their little projects. You all see. Well, what you got <laughs> going? Wait Where's the movie? Yeah, oh, that's we're being worked on, I'm sure. Start that after Rascals tomorrow night. <laughs> the sound stage is in the garage. She's like Oprah. You remember she had to build her own studio? Yeah. He explains that the different structures are crucial to keeping a clear head. If someone, this is a quote now from Jackie. All right. Oh, we'll see. If someone is working for you, they are not part of the house. Yeah. With this understanding of the importance of separating work and private life, Jackie Martling is a modest man. Ah. Uh. Well, although proud of his accomplishments. Oh, shucks. What accomplishment? His accomplishment is collecting a paycheck from me that pays for all these houses. You know. And he wants to leave all yeah, the time. Leave? How's he going to pay for all this? Yeah, he's he got leaves? a joke pound now. You know, me and Nancy managed to put away a little money, and we don't need this. Because I do such a good There's job. So many other things that I could be doing, like I like go do anything. doing my CD. I could be punching up scripts. Yeah. yeah. Where is he going to do that from the from I don't the compound? Know. I already am. Are you really? Yeah, stuttering John's video. There you go. Oh, that's right. You still working on that? <laughs> Keeping himself busy out there. It's not easy. <laughs> you know, and then when a big rain comes, his whole pound is flooded. Yeah, uh, yeah Dominic told me he saw the compound when it was flooded. <laughs> you should call it Atlantis. <laughs> this was unbelievable. All of Jackie's works hanging from a, a wire in the backyard, no, drip drying. His whole compound was underwater. <laughs> he had a finger full of coal for <laughs> That um, big port and he's standing going, This isn't funny. Yeah, oh, you should have heard him in the car that night on the way to the strip club. Uh, <laughs> you can have a sleep. Have, have some more bacon, Dominic. Uh, uh, <laughs> That's what it sounded like. Dominic was talking about Jackie's cop and he goes, Jackie called me up. He wanted me to help him with his insurance. And they walk in the back of the, you know all those pictures that Jackie has hanging up of himself? They're hanging up in the back of the and it's called blind. <laughs> <laughs> I hope your artery seized up like a car out of water. <laughs> Jackie Martling, a modest man. Thank you very much, Alan.
<laughs> and then it goes into Jackie's whole history. What is his history? About his engineering and oh. background, and then he was a musician. Among Jackie's many projects, he is also planning an interactive CD-ROM game. Oh, no. That is certain to canonize him as the world's premier joke teller CD-ROM game. I am, and I am. Interactive <laughs> man! <laughs> <laughs> you gotta make the game so you can play it on the water. <laughs> <laughs> Is that waterproof? Yeah, it's a, it's a waterproof <laughs> CD <laughs> game. <laughs> Give me another deal. <laughs> Dominic, are you gonna buy that CD ROM game? Oh, with yeah, with flippers and a little map. <laughs> With my snorkel. <laughs> <laughs> well, Fred will go on for 20 minutes and you make one Martian joke. Uh -huh. I think you hit him with an axe. He's killing me today, though. Oh, that's mad. Great. He's killing me today. He's on today. He's Jackie. on, man. Don't no, stop him. Problem. He's getting mad. He's not getting to me today. Mm -hmm. <laughs> So what's the CD-ROM game you're developing, Jackie? It's not a game. I'm just putting jokes and videos and, you know, written jokes. and Everything in CD-ROM? All nine yards on right. CD-ROM. That's fantastic. Sounds great. That's the joke, man. There's no backstage video, but it'll be good. I know. But so, so in other words, what you're going to have is you'll tell a Multimedia. joke. Multimedia. In other words, you'll have You can have see a... me telling it. You can read about it. Or you can hear it. Wow. Wow. You can go to different categories to be... You know. Sounds incredible. Oh, incredible. Who's putting up, who's putting up the money put, for this? Are you paying for it yourself or is someone going to put up the money for no, it? No, we have... Uh, Backers? Yes. I see. All right, very good. Well, we, there's still room for investors if the people want it. <laughs> because Robin said she might want to put a few yeah, dollars on it. Yeah, you didn't that. ask me. <laughs> no, I have no interest in Dominic, interest. you going to invest? Matter of fact, I think I know his first customer, Jacques Cousteau. <laughs> <laughs> He'll be playing up on Calypso. <laughs> so sensitive, that big fat. <laughs> All right, anyway, enough of Jackie. We'll get That's off him. Pretty Go see him at Rascals. Interactive oh, Jackie. Tomorrow night. Tomorrow night. Interactive Jackie. <laughs> CD ROM game. Jackie, That's interactive so joke man, Martin. 30 people have already come up and shown me Jackie's. Underline that for me. So Jackie's developing a CD ROM game. Oh, no. <laughs> Jackie, do you reject any product? Project? What do you mean reject a project? Do you ever reject? I mean, I mean, is there any? Is there anything that you would reject? Try me. All right. Okay. What's the next thing? It's so funny. The garage is going to be the studio. <laughs> He's got more studios and compounds. Oh, but the best part, Howard, is the philosophy. Yeah. There's always a philosophy behind everything that Jackie does. I don't. Uh, uh, I don't want. Anybody in my house who work. work? People who work do not belong to the house. <laughs> <laughs> and I guess the reporter's kind of like, wow. I mean, the guy's yeah. got the guy has houses, so wow. must know what he's talking about. <laughs> you know, that's where you eat. <laughs> but isn't your wife your manager? No. So, so do you keep her for five years? Oh, really? Listen to a thing anybody. Who is your manager now? Me. Oh, you're managing yourself. Yeah. She doesn't negotiate at all. No. Oh. I guess you didn't want to live with people you worked with. I just didn't want to get pretend. People you work with don't belong to the house, Howard. Right. More marriage is going to live. with the pictures and you with the projects. How dare you people say a word. I see. How dare you people. How dare you. I'm writing a book for no apparent reason. She's writing a book for a publishing house. She's not printing it herself. What? All right. Listen, I don't want to hear about it. What's, What's the, the difference? difference? <laughs> I don't know. One seems more legitimate than the other. Maybe I'm crazy. Uh, you can't through. argue with Interactive Jackie. How right. dare you? Interactive <laughs> Jackie. I can't wait to have him on my computer in uh, cd rom I'll see you in a few years. I can't wait. Uh, now, what are you going to do? Are you going to watch him tell the joke? Or are you going to read the joke? Personally, I'm going to watch him tell the joke. No, you know what? I'm going to read the joke. No, yeah. I'm going to watch the joke. I, you know what? I don't know what I'm going to do. <laughs> I'll have you know I saw the great Jerry Lewis the other night, and I tell a joke much better than the great Jerry Lewis. Absolutely. The great Jerry Lewis? <laughs> the genius? Hey, hey, Gary, get that guy on the phone who's got the Jerry Lewis story. you got to hear this. Some guy went to see Jerry Lewis the other night performing. Yeah. Oh, i got to take a break, and then we'll be right back. you got to hear this guy. Jerry Lewis threw a tiff. A little tizzy. Yeah. We'll be back right after this.